Well, good thing no one watched the first one because my daughter was totally messing with me. <laughs> She gave me a red mustache. Anyway, uh, yesterday we were pointing things out to buyers when they're looking at homes. Uh, they can get a pretty good assessment of the condition of the home by looking for uh, various things such as condition, potential uh, foundation issues, um, HVAC, roof, plumbing. There's all sorts of uh, things that you can look for. Now, now, when you're a seller of a home, it's, it's very similar, obviously, than buying because you still need to be aware of what's up with your house. So if you're selling a home, you want to minimize any kind of surprises or things that might uh, cause buyers to think that you've neglected your home or the home has uh, unresolved issues. So uh, if even if you're going to do a home inspection, a plumbing inspection, a roof inspection, all those things, it's still these things you can still address before you have those inspections because ideally you can address certain issues before you have a home inspection done, right? So they're not noted on there and they're just cosmetic in nature, maybe maybe more, but mostly cosmetic in nature. And so today I'm gonna have my daughter walk around my friend's house, which is a great house to um, walk you through these things with because it's just got everything I'm looking for to show you. So um, anyway, here we go. It's not mean, it's good. So, oh, I'm stuck. so today, um, when you're selling a home, there are certain things to be aware of. For example, on the exterior of the home, uh, buyers and even lenders will be leery of chipped paint, okay? Chipped paint and exposed nail heads, okay? Exposed nail heads, caulking around the windows, okay? Here the windows have a trim around them. You don't need a circle. Um, you, you can uh, usually a lot of times there's gaps at the windows where the windows meet the sides of the home and there needs to be caulking a lot of times that's always flagged by by lenders you can see up here there isn't caulking along the trim it doesn't have to be done but ideally it should be done uh, of course torn window screens they're easy to get fixed um, so just call someone and have it done or just take the screens off completely. Okay, now going around, I'm going to go to the you want my jacket, honey? Okay, we're going around the house, window screens, we've got peeling, um, peeling uh, paint that you can repair. Yesterday, yesterday we talked about some wood rot and turmoil. For example, if you can see this, this, this piece of wood will be replaced. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, so you don't want to, to make anybody scared, you can replace that, paint it. Uh, and over here, oh, my hands, I can't feel them. Oh, over here, you know, with our weather here, oftentimes we get uh, mildew and, and moss growing on our houses, and uh, you're going to want to pressure wash your home before listing it, okay? And uh, certain things like, way my daughter is like, I can't feel my hand, I gotta go. <laughs> so here I am, my hand's freezing. So for example, um, here we have some deteriorated trim, plastic uh, metal trim around that base of these footings. Nails popping out. They could be, uh, ideally they would be made flush again. Um, let me see if I can find a window for you. Well, these are older windows, okay? And oftentimes, some they're all fogged up. You don't have to change them out, but sometimes the buyers will want them changed out, and sometimes lenders or appraisers might fuss at it. So it's something to be aware of, like these foggy windows here. It's a 50-50 thing. Sometimes you need to replace them, sometimes you don't. Uh, see all the, the dust and dirt that's accumulated. You're going to want to pressure wash that, clean it up. You might need to change out your hardware, okay? That's deteriorating. Like I said, this is a pretty cool house. You have um, a patio and stuff. You've got lifting nails, some um, drainage stuff. You're going to want to put get those nails flush before an inspector comes out. And I tell them, if you don't have a home inspection, and even if you do have a home inspection, take care of these things because then the buyer sees that they don't have to come in and then start having to haggle with you and and 
go, man, I don't want to take on all this stuff. It's too much to take on. And, and they feel overwhelmed. If you just take care of the basics, you know, you can work through the rest. Like sometimes like garage doors and ACs get rusty and the ACs still work. You offer a home warranty. Okay. Um, you can't have unpainted trim. I don't know if you can see the, the garage over there. Let me see if I can turn this around. Sorry about that line, I don't know how to take it off. Then when you, on the inside of a home, you can, um, like when you see this paint deterioration weather stripping, they're gonna ask that, that be, these things are repaired. Like dogs scratching on the doors, stuff like that. And can, can you get me now? Mm -hmm. Can you take that off? Mm -hmm. Now on, on the inside of homes, sometimes you have uh, just scuff paint on the trim. Not a big deal, but once again, it's the perception of move and ready, not fancy. It doesn't have to be fancy, but if it's just clean, move and ready. Can you see me, honey? Are you wiggling around? Clean, move and ready. Uh, come here. So for example, little things like trim, getting the paint on the trim, uh, cleaned up, Sometimes cabinets have not been worn along the edges, okay? And you might be able to stain them a little bit. Just, just little things to keep in mind to uh, clean up the property before selling it. A lot of people don't love wallpaper. It's up to you if you want to take it down or just make a slight adjustment of credit to the buyer to... Um, Say we'll credit buyer $500 to remove uh, wallpaper and, and paint after or seller willing to do it with acceptable offer. Okay, another thing, um, no big deal if you have older carpet, if it's in half decent condition, you can see here, it's okay. You see the carpet? It's okay, but you're gonna need to say okay, we will offer a carpet credit, carpet credit, or to replace the carpet if it if you know it needs to be replaced with an acceptable offer, and or make sure you have it clean before listing. If for some reason these pe people are cash cash poor, then um, say seller to have carpets clean at clo clean at closing, or um, provide a check at closing for the the carpet cleaner. Uh, other things you can do, you can look underneath your sinks for any kind of, <laughs> that wasn't a sink, <laughs> that was the stairs, uh, but you can, you can look under sinks to see if, if there's been any leakage in your house, uh, go around your yard um, to check for any cracks in the mortar, hmm? check for any cracks in the mortar, those should probably be sealed, those are things that are going to be flagged. Okay, once again, those are things that you can take care of yourself before you have a home inspection and before uh, anything else comes about. Uh, definitely get the plumber out there to test the plumbing. Um, you could get a roofer out there if you know you need a roof. Get some bids before you list and um, get that home inspector if, if you're willing to pay them and, and so you don't have any surprises. So when people give you an offer, you can go, here's what's up with the house. We've priced it accordingly and we're not, we don't need to come down because we already know what's up, right? That way you're not halfway through and then now you get hit with this big ticket item or buyers get scared to back out. You just take care of everything ahead of time and um, keeps you <laughs> keeps your stress to a minimum and it keeps the buyer's stress to a minimum and it helps you move along more quickly in the process, okay? Another thing is um, when you get the buyers, make sure they're pre-approved and uh, the lender is a cool, willing to talk to you and with the permission of the other agent and there's open dialogue between you and the buyers, uh, meaning we're all being straightforward and honest with each other. Okay, so those kind of things should help you prepare to list your home. Um, bye. <laughs> now record it. Did you record it? Should be. Oh, see, she didn't finish. Okay, well, my daughter's first time filming. We'll see, maybe that's not her strength. <laughs>